Uh, Ouch. Oh, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I felt it catch you. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 injuries you actually see on Dancing on Ice. Don't you know what? In rehearsals, it was so bright, and then just at the end. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't it doesn't matter. matter. Before that, it was absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the most horrific accidents that were ever recorded on this dancing competition series. Number 10. Matt Evers I trust Matt and I know that he, he'll look after me up there. More often than not, the injuries take place during the rehearsals rather than in the actual live performances. It's not surprising considering how little experience the stars have, but that inexperience can often be to the detriment of the trainers rather than the stars, as is the case with Matt Evers and Georgie Porter. During one such rehearsal, Matt Evers' face was sliced open by the blade on Georgie's skate during a particularly risky manoeuvre. Evers would be sent to the hospital immediately, but admirably returned in time to perform the dance for the live event with Georgie. Number 9. Gemma Collins After taking a tumble in front of the audience, it's not just your pride that can be irreparably damaged. Gemma Collins learned this the hard way during her live performance back in 2019, when the GC lost balance whilst raising her arms. You'd think with the way she got right back up and continued, that she'd come out unscathed. But according to Collins, this is not the case. Years later, she is still apparently feeling the effects of the fall, only recently being able to touch her knees without feeling pain. Yeah, the <laughs> falls. When I fell on the ice, I never felt the same yeah. ever again. That's I'll be honest with you. That was a nasty you. one. That was a nasty one. Number 8. Pam O'Connor Being a former England goalkeeper, David Seaman's partner, Pam O'Connor, probably thought she was in safe hands. However, only one week after returning to the show following another injury, she's left needing stitches after their particularly tricky swinging manoeuvre goes drastically wrong. While in rehearsals, David loses control of his partner, sending her face first into the ice. Yet another reminder of how unforgiving the ice can be when you collide with it. Number 7. Connor Ball Oftentimes, botches can look a lot less scary than they actually are. During a very impressive performance, musician Connor Ball attempted to lift his partner using mops. Unfortunately, he couldn't pull it off, and the two plummeted to the ground. Standard tumble, right? Well, no. During the fall, Ball's leg was actually cut open by his partner's skates. Are you okay? You've, I, you've don't know what, uh, I don't want to look what's going on under here right it's, now, it's, but it is bleeding. I'll check after. It's incredible that he was able to continue his performance. Ball later shared a photo online showing the extent of this grisly injury. Number 6. Denise Van Outen If you had watched Denise's performance with Matt Evers, you may have been surprised to see how stiff her movements were. Well, that's because the taped-up shoulder we see in the performance was actually a pretty nasty injury. During a rehearsal, Denise slipped and fell onto said shoulder, instantly popping it out of the socket. This dislocated shoulder proved to be too much for Denise, and despite her best efforts in her performance, she was forced to pull out of the competition. Well, Denise may have been front-page news after her shoulder popped out and... <laughs> she put a brave face on it. Had a big breakfast. Number 5. Andy Buchanan Cooperation is the key to success in this dancing competition, and Rebecca Vardy certainly left an impression on her professional partner, Andy Buchanan. An impression on his face, that is. While practicing for an upcoming performance, Andy attempted to flip Vardy over and was met with the edge of her blade. But well, yeah, it's uh, it's part of the game. We do dangerous stuff. Oh, man. Oh, man. According to Andy, the mistake gave him a permanent scar on his face. He certainly won't forget his time training with Rebecca. Number 4. Keith Chegwin 
It's not often that someone gets hurt before they can even make it to the show's first episode. This late television host managed to do just that on day one of practice back in 2011. Watch your toe pick. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? He took a fall that left him with a broken shoulder and cracked ribs. We were only privy to the footage after he took another stab at the show in 2013. After a horrific injury like that, we're surprised he'd want to go anywhere near the ice ever again. Number 3. Vanilla Ice With a name like Vanilla Ice, you'd have thought the former rapper would be a natural on this show. And in fairness, he acquitted himself quite well in the competition, surviving until week 6 before he was finally knocked out. But his stint in the series also featured this painful tumble during training. Are you okay? No. And the rapper certainly wasn't downplaying his injury. I felt like I got hit by Mike Tyson or something. His head wound needed stitches and he suffered a concussion. Number 2. Vanessa Bauer During rehearsals with Diversity's Perry Keeley, the pro skater had a nasty fall, smashing face first into the side of the ice rink. It's impossible not to flinch as you watch the footage, particularly when it plays again in slow motion. It was actually Bauer who uploaded the video onto Instagram and captioned it, I literally thought I broke my face. She later updated her followers on what she called the most embarrassing and painful fall of her career. While fans were relieved to hear that she was alright, ITV insisted that she sit out for the week just to be safe. Number 1. Jennifer Ellison Jennifer had us all in awe when she demonstrated the impressive scorpion kick while skating to Peggy Lee's fever. But once the dance is over, it becomes abundantly clear that something has gone horribly wrong. Ellison's extraordinary flexibility meant that she kicked her leg so far back, she'd managed to slice her head with her blade. Well, um, we can see that uh, Jen uh, has actually hurt her head. We're not sure that she caught her own head there, uh, which, which it looks like that looks might be like what, she's, she might what she's done. I think she does a move where she arches back, and she's got such a big arch that she's hit her own head with a blade. She's understandably shaken, and everyone else is in shock too. Ellison completed the dance despite the incident, but we don't think we could have kept going if we were in her shoes. You know, it's that, that moment that emphasises how dangerous ice skating is and the mm. blades are so sharp. Uh, the adrenaline tonight went a little bit further and, uh, yeah, it was an accident. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.